when a bright young newcomer named Dick Sweat decided to run for a seat Democrats hadn't held since the sinking of the Titanic. Well, the Republicans laughed and said, he can never win. You know what? We proved them wrong. Democrats could possibly knock off an incumbent Republican governor. No way, no how, they said. Well, we proved them wrong. In 2006, the pundit said to Paul Hodes and Carol Shea Porter, don't bother. You can't beat those entrenched Republican congressmen, Ass and Bradley. Don't you Democrats read the polls? Well, we proved them wrong. They laughed when Ray Humphrey uh, promised Madam, that both the New Hampshire House yes. and Senate and were going to be controlled by Democrats. Absurd, ridiculous. Don't you people know your okay. history, they said? Democrats yeah. haven't yeah. held the State House since the Civil War. You cannot possibly win. We prove them wrong. Johnson knew is too tough. He's an incumbent, and besides, New Hampshire hasn't voted for a Democratic senator since Watergate. Once again, we proved them wrong! And now, in 2010, here come the pundits again. People are angry, tea partiers are everywhere, the polls are bad. It's over even before it begins. Well, what are we going to do? We're going to prove them wrong! outraged. Our communities are still in dire economic shape. Nationally, one in ten citizens can't find work. More than seven million jobs have vanished, and billions of dollars of household wealth have been wiped out, in no small part due to the reckless greed and irresponsibility of mega banks and other huge financial institutions that brought our economy to the brink of another Great Depression. Behind these numbers, of course, are real people and real families whose dreams are being wiped out by forces beyond their control. We should all be furious at the outrageous behavior of Wall Street bankers and lobbyists. Just a few weeks ago, I met with a group of construction workers who have suffered huge losses during this economic downturn. One man in particular shared his story, and it broke my heart. Almost two years ago, Tim was living in a comfortable four-bedroom home with a bright future for his family. He lost his job in the fall of 2008, and his family has suffered both emotionally and financially. Tim has separated from his wife and is sharing a rented room with another unemployed man. And the night we spoke, he was getting ready to cash in the last bit of his retirement so that he could pay his bills. This is just wrong. And Tim's story is one that is being repeated millions of times across our country. Jobs gone, homes lost, plans and hopes evaporated, family relationships struggling. This recession hurts. When millions of Americans feel shut out and feel the doors of opportunity slamming shut on them, many of them lose confidence in our government, and understandably so. We must redouble our efforts so that each and every one of us can work hard and get ahead. The key to a stable and vibrant society is a strong, prosperous, and above all, an optimistic middle class. It is the lifeblood of our economy and the heartbeat of our democracy. And I'm running for Congress to fight for the middle class. <laughs>